Good morning! How are you guys doing today? Anna and I are very tired. I guess that's one of the things about getting up early for church to go to an 8 o'clock service is you're gonna get a little bit more tired or you're gonna be a little bit more tired I guess I should say. We enjoy the 8 o'clock service more. Less crowded. Looks like a nice day today though. I'll comment on the weather now since uh, Anna is not gonna comment right now. I'm sure it feels amazing outside. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are going to go to church and then come home. We're going to go to little Liam's birthday party today. That's going to be a lot of fun. Then after that we are going to come home and just probably have a chill night. It's going to be a fun day. Howdy! Hello. Hello, howdy. We are on our way to the birthday party. Woo! Woo! It's going to be really cute. It's like wood land themed animals, right? There's gonna be a clown and a dinosaur and a huge bouncy house. False. None of that, thankfully. Aww. No clowns or dinosaurs. What? Anyway, it's gonna be adorable. Today is nice. Uh, yeah, I wanna be outside. Yeah? Yeah. What do you wanna do outside? Hike. Hike? Hike. We haven't been hiking in quite a while. We should do that. Hey, oh. No, it's because it's been so hot. Yeah, we, I mean, we've, we've said as soon as October hits and it gets cooler, we'll go hiking. But it hasn't gotten cooler yet. I'm excited about the party and I'm excited about cupcakes and snacks and watching my sweet little boy open gifts and watching his big brother open the gifts really for him. Because <laughs> that's probably how that's going to go down. It's going to be cute. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. We are at Herdmont Park in uh, Pelham and we're just walking around here. Uh, we were here a long time ago. Uh, when's the last time we were here? What about um, the last time? The last time I was here was playing tennis with Chelsea. Tennis with Chelsea. Yeah. Last time I was here was jumping a creek or trying to. No, you've been here since then. I just wanted to mention the creek. You know that we finished up 
at the party and it was sweet and fun. It was. And then we decided, you know, it feels really nice out here. Let's go walk around the park. Just for a little bit. We actually asked Joey and Josh if they want to do something tonight, but they're going to eat soap. Yeah. So, yeah. hope you guys enjoy your soap. Yeah. We were like, hey, let's do something. And they're like, uh, we got soup. So, we got soup. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Stick with your soup. We might, they just don't want to see us tonight. That's what it is. I guess so. So sad. Aren't those two kiddos that I watch absolutely adorable? They are. Like, they are two of the precious is <laughs> most precious they're they're two of the most precious little boys i know i love those two and i love their parents too <laughs> yeah the whole family is just super sweet they are anna's got some walnuts i think they're walnuts I think they're walnuts oh look at her juggling did you guys know about this <laughs> anna oh <laughs> i don't like that hurt and I actually can juggle. Did you guys know that? I learned in college. Yeah, look at but her. But I'm rusty because I don't ever do it. Look at her go. She's a juggling fiend. <laughs> Good job, babe. I never learned tricks. We were supposed to learn juggling tricks and we just never got around to it. Oh, too I bad. had a friend, my friend Liz from Pensacola. Well, she was from Alaska actually, but we met at school in Pensacola and she met me. We would have juggling lessons. <laughs> Every Wednesday night after church, we would have juggling lessons in my room. Where she taught you? Uh-huh. That's funny. She'd come to my room and we would we would train. And I, I learned first, my first lesson was just doing this. Okay. And I think the next week actually I was still doing this, learning to catch the ball. And I did two balls. And then I learned to just kind of toss them like that. And then we finally got to throw in the third ball. Good to you go. I know. It's fun to do. I just, I forget I can do it until I don't do it. <laughs> if I practice really hard, I can probably do tricks. I bet you could. It's pretty hard. It is. Hard walnut. Can you crack them open? Well, yeah, I can get the walnut now. Ooh. Yep, there's the walnut part. Huh. Interesting. It's like a mustard <laughs> yellow. Yeah, I'm not interested anymore. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Looked a little bit like poop. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit too much like poop. Maybe poop. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> no walnuts for you. Nope. <laughs> what is up, guys? We are back home and we are relaxed. The night has passed. Tonight we got home and we decided to watch a show uh, on broadcast antenna TV, cable, I guess. Antenna. Local channels, antenna. And Anna was looking for the show and bam, guess what showed up? My previous employer, like in a documentary about rebranding a museum here in town. How crazy. And at first I was a little bit like, oh man, because like I used to work there and that could have been I could have been a part of that um, and I was a little bummed at first but then like I mean almost instantaneously I was not bummed because I thought you know though that's really awesome for them and it kind of brought me back to uh, something that a pastor named Craig Groeschel said a long time ago um, but he keeps saying it because it's it bears repeating that uh, it's similar to social media. When you see someone take a picture and they're on vacation and they're like, check out how awesome this vacation is. And then they, or someone else tweets, oh, I just got a new car, it's awesome. Or someone else uh, says, hey, we just got that thing that you want. And you're like, oh God, that's terrible that they're, I mean, it's, it's cool that they get all that, but at the same time, it makes me feel like poop because I don't have any of that. This is the point I'm getting to. Pastor Craig Groeschel says that you are comparing their highlights with your lowest points. So you only see the highest point of their life, not the highest, but the, one of the highest points, you know, getting a new car or a new job promotion or going on vacation or all of that. You only see the high points of their life and you're comparing that with your low points. 
you're comparing that with, man, I'm sitting here eating cheese whiz right out of the can watching uh, reruns of the Andy Griffith show. <laughs> you know? <laughs> you they, they do the same thing. They watch the same show <laughs> with cheese whiz or whatever, but they don't post about it on Facebook. So don't don't be jealous and don't don't be so hard on yourself. You're an awesome person. Anna has something to add. In that same message, he also said that when you are envious of someone else's life, you are ignoring all that God is doing in your life. Ooh, that's good. And that that really hit home for me, and I have found myself just kind of watching my words and mm -hmm. then my attitudes to certain things. And when, if I happen to think, oh man, if only this could happen to us. And then like I, I, I catch myself, I'm like, but you know what? Like this other thing is happening with us. And mm -hmm. that's really amazing and it's from God. Mm -hmm. And I should be happy because I'm blessed. So there you go, just your tidbit. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just gonna eat my peanut butter. It's warm, man. I didn't eat dinner. That is a really good point, though, that Anna just made. And there are amazing things that are happening in our lives. And that's something else that kind of ties into exactly what I was going to get to is that they're doing awesome things right now. And I'm about to start doing awesome uh, things with newer projects that are coming on board. But in my mind, I have really awesome things that I want to work on. I just need to. What's that magical word? Start! Just need to start. Anna's already started. She's got her crafting channel and it's amazing. All right, I think that's all we're gonna do tonight. Hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. If you have, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below about something that you wanna start, a project or anything else, something like that, or any sort of advice about that. Or thumbs up for peanut butter. Or thumbs up for peanut butter. <laughs> Or you can leave a comment about anything else you saw in this video, like the amazing family that we celebrated a birthday with earlier. Anyway, we love you guys. Hope you guys have a great night. God bless and hug. Bye.